Ah. I think I busted something there this time. I would be too lucky if it didn't, something didn't bust. Oh yeah. See? Okie dokie. Okay. Let's connect this back. Should be able to fly it again. It's a little too. Uh, there's my camera still rolling. My camera still rolling. Cool. Okay, let's see if we can. Uh... Ah, I know why it's sinking that way because my battery's here. Okay, so let's put the battery the other way. Should be fine. And I am going to reduce my. There we go. a little too hot. Notice again how I cut down the power right away. That cushions the, the landing. So let me see. I'm having a little little issue with my control here on the elevator. So let me see. Is this working properly? Yeah. Okay this is flexing. This is flexing a little. Okay, there's my problem right there. All right, just need to adjust my rotor. Okay, a little more. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna adjust my trim. Just leave it at center where it should be. And my right. Put it right back at center. Okay, that was not there. Okay, now it should work. Nice and the way it should be working. Okay, so let's see. should be nice and straight okay my rudder was not trimmed that's the problem my rudder was not trimmed ah look at that it's flying fine okay that's flying straight
hopefully my camera is still rolling here. I think it's going to die pretty soon. Yep. Alright. That's what it was. Rudder incorrectly set, trimmed. And it had... And pitch was a little bit too low. So that's why I landed a little hard right before this flight here. And this is just because my landing gear is shot right now, the front end. Okay. Basically, that's it on this battery. Time to go home and remove this canopy. And uh, reconnect my uh, front end to the base. And that's it. Basically, that, that's all there is to it here. So, let me disconnect this guy here. Actually, this is the, the, first, flight, the first crash that I tore my front end here and this is after so many flights I mean I've been flying this for a couple years now and I've had no no mishaps whatsoever with this particular model in fact all the kind of hard landings have been just a matter of readjusting the, the blades and go flying again but just needs to reconnect the front end and the rest is fine cool camera still rolling hopefully excellent still rolling all right so let's go home now. Mother Day weekend, Saturday. Beautiful day. And I was lucky today to have the field to myself. I can't complain about that. Ah, got a little charged up. Should be able to go home and do some work. My drug of choice, <laughs> as I always say in my videos. Oh boy. I don't know, something about radio control flying. It empowers the, the human spirit, I think. You know, when you when things go well and you, you are able to get a, some flights and just see that model flying and you're in total control of that, it's, it's just very empowering from a psychological standpoint. I think that's why it, anybody that's into radio control uh, hobby is there in the first place so it's a healthy choice drug of choice at least for me it is but there are days that things don't go well and you just have to you just have to uh, be positive and persistent that next time things will, will go well and typically they do not every day is a Sunday, and that's just life. But today was good. I should be able to do some nice videos, post them on YouTube, and also my Facebook page. Oh my God, I'm running out of breath now. Whew. So, anybody that says that we don't get exercise by working radio control models, well, pick up an auto gyro, and uh, as long as you don't have a pre-rotator that's doing all the work for you, you can get a nice decent workout and it's also healthy for your body so this is Mario again thanks for watching and keeping up with my 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 talks here signing off take care have a nice weekend